obviously not suffer catastrophic damage on the last one because it is back. Um, Fonte is saying good. You're learning fast, my man. Yeah. Twenty-three thirty-two in the back of this wagon, home built by the owner. He had a big fella come up to him and ask him what was in the back, and uh, like most Volkswagen owners with quick machines go, a beetle engine, mate. Expect to say it's got a V8 or a Subaru in it. Anyway, I can confirm to the friends of the man with the panel van that the big fella who was questioning him has a 62 barrel van with a 2332 turbo motor in the back of it. I should know because I spent three months converting it, I think, all winter, and it nearly broke my back. Sadly won't be ready for the Big Bang, but my bug jam, hopefully 14 second quarter miles from his 62 panel, but this thing is so, so impressive. It should not work this well, their suspension's too low, it shouldn't be able to get the weight transfer, but it does, it surges down the track, runs through 62.2 miles an hour, 10.05. Now you not too far away at all, folks. So head on over, have a good look round the show and shine. We will be giving out the trophies at 4 o'clock, and I guess it'll probably be 3, 3 30. I will confirm that any runs after that won't count towards the trophies, because we've got a bit of sorting out to do. If we take an executive decision, cut off time, 3 30. the split. I'm ever so, ever so biased, folks. You need to understand that. I work on during the week. I make all the things go fast and safe. I was going to say, it didn't stand a chance against Skylight, but oh yes it does. Oh, the Skylight huge surge power at the top end. In fact, it does just squeeze around at the top end. Very close. Look at this. A 10.27 for the Skyline. The splitty panel with a 10.29. Oh! And the reaction times, everybody out on track getting better and better.